may grow to a maximum height of 0.5 meters. They have visited Earth at least 250 times. They come from Cassiopeia, where they have two home planets. They eat other aliens as well as humans. Their race is at least 4 billion years old, and they have been in a constant state of war with another alien species for 2 billion years. Last sighting on Earth, November 2001, Italian Alps rise. Their height is around 2.5 meters. They have a very complex structure of their skull. Visited Earth at least 20 times. They carry out human abductions which they use for human reproduction. They have abducted at least 520 humans, males and females. They come from the third star in the constellation Cetus. They have two home planets and have colonized at least 40 planets, with the help of slaves. Ten of those planets were taken with use of force. They work together with three ether races. They mostly eat animal protein derived products. According to alien reports, they are not mentally, spiritually prepared to interact with most other races. Their home planet's chemical composition is similar to Earth. They are supposed to reveal themselves to humans in open manner, in 2022. Elmanc They come from constellation Grius, near the star Alnair. They are one of the most peaceful races. They co-created the Alliance of the Five Races, Council of the Five. The Council of the Five are a group of five aliens races that protect humans against less peaceful races. They coined the sentence, five universes, 2,500 species, one race. The Council is supposed to meet in Earth, during the last 10 days of August 2013, the reason being the fact, that Earth has been receiving too many visits from new races in the past 500 years. Last sighting on Earth, near the Sea of Cortez, September 2002. Elfaf They come from constellation Boots, near Aeselus Primus. They also resemble the Greys, but are not related. This race has four different genders and they are known to be benevolent. The purpose of their visits is unknown, but they seem to have a special interest, on raw materials, minerals, as they have been often sighted near old mines. Last sighting, San Isidro de El General, Costa Rica, in 2005. Elena. Supposedly this is the race that started the myth of elves, elf. They are sighted often in the Germanic countries, deep in the forest. They are not known to be lethal to humans, however they are known as being pranksters. It seems that they are enjoying scaring humans when these get too close. It has been reported that they have lured humans away from their cars in order to steal their possessions. Once the humans are far away from their vehicles, and they already have stolen what they wanted, they frighten them which makes the humans leave the location. Last sighting, near Mücken, Germany in December 2001. The Council of Five The Council of Five is composed of the following races. Orela Egarat Jinvo Ridden Emma there. Very little is known about the five alien races that are part of the Council of Five. It is generally agreed that the Emma there is the most important race, not only to the Council but also amongst all known races. This race are related to the Solipsirei, but much older and advanced in all levels. in three different occasions. 
They also met with two high-ranking USSR leaders in three different occasions. They tried, without any force upon humans, to meet with USA President R. Nixon but he refused claiming that it would be too dangerous, as they maybe could read his mind and find out about delicate national security secrets concerning the relations with the USSR. The races that are part of this council, previously known as the Council of Nine, have been protecting Earth and the humans for as long as there are, alien, records of it. Some say that they have been protecting the planet, even before humans existed. For millions of years. An alien race reported that the Council of Five last met on Earth in 1944. Note from Petro and myself, we found a handwritten note, on the ARB dated July 2005 stating that the Council of Five, is going to meet on Earth during the last 10 days of August 2013. The same note also mentioned the fact, that the presence and arrival of those races could cause cosmic events that could affect Earth's atmosphere. It also said that humans would be seeing an increase, of alien ships activity during this period. The note also states that the meeting of the Council, is to discuss possible threats to Earth and humans as well as the fact, that so many new races have been visiting Earth lately. By lately, the note states that it means the past 500 years. According to several alien races the Council of Five, at that time, Council of Nine, has monitored human evolution since primordial times, since humans were only a one-cell marine organism, and throughout all natural evolution, when humans became primate-like creatures and beyond, after the Anunnakeen, aka, Anunnaki interference. According to those same alien races all evolutionary sequences in all planets, have a beginning and an end, with exception of minor details due mostly to radical weather changes, after the Anunnaking tampered with the DNA of primates, and created humans, the Council of Five decided not only to monitor, but also to protect us, as they realized that one day humans would be able to join other alien races, in development and enlightenment. X1Z only sighted two times on Earth. According to reports from other races, they are able to shapeshift as many as four times in ten seconds. Their origin is unknown. They conduct human abductions and perform medical experiments. They have been visiting Earth since the mid-1500s. They only confirmed sightings happened near Ilasik, Turkey. X5 Tigert this race was created by the race Matra, in order to be used as slaves. And that is what they still are being used as. They are often sent by the Matra, to security sensitive regions, working as messengers and also to conduct abductions. They can live forever as they are not organic. However, the raw materials that the Matra needs to build one, are very rare, so there are not many of them, estimation, less than 300. They are able to use rational thinking, as well as flying ships and many other tasks. Last seen on Earth in July, 1997, near Brisbane, Australia. 2017 They have only contacted humans one time, in the USSR in 1935. They come from the galaxy UDFJ 39546284, estimated distance from Earth, our standard, is 13.2 billion light years. According to reports they were tall, had blonde long hair and smelled like flowers. They travel by using what other alien races call wormholes, which allows them to bend space. According to reports, they spoke some kind of Slavic dialect. They left a written message with about 10 sentences. Note from myself and Petro, on the original ARB, our copy slash edition, nine of the sentences left by this race are blacked out. The only one that is not blacked out is the following. 2017 to 2022. The felines. The lion people. 
The felines are one of the two primary races in our universe. They arrived here by invitation of the founders. The overall feline temperament is warm, sanguine and intellectual. As they mature, they take on more of a somber, introspective and gentle nature. The elders are revered for their wisdom, compassion and insight. As part of the universal game, the founders gave the felines a new planet in the Lyra constellation for their home. The felines named it Avon. Now, this is not the exact pronunciation, nor spelling, but it is close enough. The real name cannot be translated into English. Their eye color ranges from blue to gold and can change from blue to gold as they mature. They also turn from a golden brown color to white. Devin, feline, is the reigning patriarch of the 9D royal house of Avon, and Anu, human, is the reigning patriarch of the 5D royal house of Avon at this time. Jizan The Jiza people have been referred to by the Pleiadians, Billy Mayer contacts, as well as others. This may have some connection with the strange people and technology allegedly encountered in deep labyrinthine recesses beneath Egypt, who were sometimes reportedly seen by explorers, and who are said to dress like ancient Egyptians. There is allegedly, according to leading edge research, a huge cavern deep beneath Egypt which is inhabited by people with close ties with the US secret government. Some sources indicate that the Jaisa people may be, a controlled society with the reptilians being the dominant power, although there is still much mystery as to what the Jaisa empire is all about. Gracely Their height average is the same, as that of humans, and are covered with soft silky hair. They have two home planets in the Virgo star system. They have visited Earth at least 12 times. Their first visit happened during the era, dynasties, of Egypt's pharaohs, around 3000 years ago. They spent it 10 uninterrupted years there during that time. The Jusa Pyramid was built in their honor. They have been keeping a close look at humans' development for the past 200 years, knowing that some powerful humans can, and are, being misled by some alien races, disguised as humans. Their ships only contains, six of them, while traveling. Last sightings, July, 2002, and February, 2004. Solipsirei, aka, the Greys. They come from constellation Cygnus. Peaceful and harmonious race. They have one main leader and his name is Martin. Their civilization is two billion years old. Once they were at same level of development as ourselves. They have no colonies. They are completely focused on the development of other planets and races. They do have one powerful weapon, that keeps some neighboring violent traces away. And others that may try to invade them. At one time race Matera lost five ships because of it. They said that the human race in the next few thousands of years, still has 645 options left to save ourselves, our planet and to guarantee a future for our race. But it will depend on our ability, to travel to space. They are Solipsirei, but humans call them, the Greys. The Invisibles They come from constellation Menza. This race is known to have been seen near high security areas. They are almost completely invisible to the naked eye. Both the US and Russian military have developed technology, that allows them to track them down on radar, only the ships. Three things are known all about this race. 1. They leave a sour smell when they are near. 2. When they are near windows you can see their reflection as a smudged like figure, have been caught on CCTV footage. 3. When dogs start to bark with no apparent reason it is possible, that they are nearby, or reptoids slash reptilians. Purpose of presence, unknown. Eguanoids 
approximately 4 to 5 feet tall, with iguana-like appearance yet hominoid configuration. They have sometimes been seen wearing black hooded monk robes, or cloaks which conceal much of their saurian features, which include tails. These have been reported as being extremely dangerous and hateful towards humans and lesser ranking reptiloids such as greys, and like all other branches of the serpent race they utilize black witchcraft, sorcery and other forms of mind control against their enemies. They appear to be a dimension hopping sorcerer or priest class among the reptiloid species. Endogtk, aka Tall Whites. This race has several bases on and in the moon, where they mine unknown materials. They use as slaves to do most of their work. These slaves are extremely well taken care of, and the Endogtk see them as indispensable. Their operations on and in the moon are very secretive. They are in almost permanent contact with high-ranking officials, from the USA, China and Russian federal governments. They have the ability to shapeshift into an almost perfect human form. They are also known as Men in Black, as they use as special dark suits, to protect their skin, when in human shape, while conducting special operations on Earth. Gigantic. They come from constellation Horologium and are known to have allies with the race Matra. Maintains sporadic contacts with three Earth governments, but not the most powerful ones, not the US, Russia or China. Considered to have a violent nature by other races. They have been visiting Earth for 3000 years. Last sighting, near Houston, USA. February 1st, 2003. Jafok. They come from constellation Endus. They are known by other races as peacemakers. They are very advanced technologically. Their first sighting on Earth dates back to 1500 BC. They met with JFK, three weeks before he was killed. They have also, around the same time, met with other human world leaders. They have not been seen on Earth since JFK's death. In 1965 they gave a message to the human leaders, of countries with nuclear capability, content unknown. Kelnia. They come from constellation Aquila, star raised. They have colonized three planets, and have a lifespan of 150 years. They are often sighted in Northern Africa, and the Sahara region. First visited Earth around 300 BC. They do not conduct abductions. Main interest about Earth, minerals. Last sighted in 2003 near a volcano in Iceland. Kilimatar, aka, KR. They come from constellation Crux near Gakrux. It is a very hard race to track down or spot. Both the US and the Russian military, have developed a special camera and radar system, that allows to spot them when they are on Earth. But even then, they have only been sighted eight times. The purpose of their presence is unknown. When they are sighted is is usually in the area, known as the Bermuda Triangle. They come from constellation Vela, near the star Suhail al Malif. They grow up to 2 meters high, 6, and live up to 200 years. They can shape shift, but there is one thing they cannot change, and that is the size and color of their eyes. They are one of the oldest known races. They do abduct humans. Last seen on Earth in July of 2008. Kurs, aka, Gods of Lands. They come from the planet Delimuns, believed to be related to the race Sain Unarchy. They are the race behind the story of Enlil and Ninlil. They were directly involved on the development of the human race during early stages. 
they spend time immersed in a precious gold-like liquid, that presumably extends their lifespan. After centuries away from Earth, they have recently returned. Their own leader is amongst the most recent visitors. They will now stay on Earth permanently. They will have an important role in the years to come. Liran With its celestial keys, its cords of air, its frets of fire, the Samian's great Aeolian lyre, rising through, all its sevenfold bars, from Earth unto, the fixed stars. They come in all shapes, sizes from dark-skinned to Caucasian, there is supposedly a red-haired, light-skinned giant race, with rather large features. Lyrans were evidently driven out of their star system several thousand of years ago, and relocated to many areas in the galaxy. The Lyrans were the original ancestors, of our galactic family. Many thousands of years ago their civilization reached a very high technological level, however fell into disagreement and factions, within their culture. These factions went to war and destroyed much of their society. Many of these beings from Lyra, left in their starships to colonize the Pleiades, the Hyades, and the Vega system. This region, like our own system, may still be a battleground between Saurian Greys and humans. Some of these Pleiadians of Lyrian ancestors also came to Earth during the Lemurians and Atlanteans period. These other civilizations could be looked at as our galactic cousins. Lang They come from the sixth star, in the constellation Coma Berenices. They have three home planets, maybe four, and have colonized at least ten small species growing to 70 centimeters. They were one of the first races to visit Earth. This race started the stories about elves. Two alien races claim that they, race Lang, have abducted over 10 million humans throughout history. That number is highly disputed, by two other alien races, they state that the number is much lower. And one race even made a statement to a Russian president, saying that the race Lang has never abducted any humans. Last sighting, New Zealand, in 2006. A group of 20 members. Maitra They have two home planets in constellation Megalpay. Same average height as humans. They are hermaphrodites and their lifespan is 120 years. They have colonized at least 26 planets, have abducted at least 5,000 humans, males. Abduction of humans is carried out openly, are considered by many alien races as parasites. They have visited Earth at least 200 times. Visited Earth for the first time, during the prehistoric period, date unknown. They have the goal of colonizing Earth. That has not happened, because of protection from other alien races, such as the races from the Council of the Five. Last sighting, September 2006 near Nome, Alaska, USA. Movie Anton Kafik, aka, Shining Ones. They come from constellation Volpecula. They have met with, at least, two US presidents, as well as with USSR and, now, Russian leaders, and some high-ranking officials. They supply limited amounts of their technology to humans, in exchange for the freedom to conduct abductions. They do not involve other alien races in this process. They had a big role in Siberian and Tibetan culture. They have bases in those areas, hidden in the north face of the mountains. They have colonized over 40 planets outside our solar system. So far. Magell. They have two permanent bases somewhere in South America. They are 100% nocturnal, and do not interact with humans and are described by other races, as being shy. They harvest insects and rodents by many thousands on a monthly basis. Reason, unknown. 
At least three of them have been under Brazilian military custody for the past 12 years. Last sighting, near Oaxaca, Mexico, in 2003. They are visited by their own kind, race, every 20 years. The next visit should be around 2016. Matrax They come from constellation Delphinus, near Sualosin. Despite their appearance, installs fear in humans when sighted, this race is not known to be aggressive. They can live up to 400 years. They have been visiting Earth for at least 4000 years, but quite often during the 19th century. They served as inspiration for the alien race, in the movie Independence Day. Note of Petro and me, this is the other, second mention race being used as inspiration, for that same movie. Last sighting happened near Marseille, France, in 1996. Metaili They come from constellation Serpens, Star Allier. Once related to the Reptoids species, they are not, however, reptilians. First visit to Earth was only in June 13, 1965. They do not represent any threat to humans. Often seen around Antarctica. The reason for their visits is unknown. Last sighting, Antarctica, May 1, 1997. The Messengers Probably the most enigmatic of all alien races. Not much is known all about them. They visit Earth around every 300 years. Their next visit is supposed to happen any time now. They do not reveal themselves, and they do not make direct contact with humans. They leave carvings, drawings and writings on rocks, as well as symbols in historical monuments.